I'd be happy to answer any questions if you have. Are, are you sort of putting things off until next year, sort of the harder choices? No, we're uh, not. Uh, I want to make very clear, we're not putting anything off. It was our judgment that uh, the goals that were uh, set by the legislature last year uh, were not met by everybody that tried to meet them. And that clearly they didn't have enough time. We're extraordinarily lucky to have the best congressional delegation in the country. And they had the good judgment to provide us with a bridge. So all we're saying is the arbitrary targets that were imposed on school board members by Montpelier will go away. The bridge money will be used for its intended purpose to ensure that we don't have 350 hardworking teachers and other support staff laid off at a time when our schools need them and when they need a job. And finally, that the $23 million will be reduced on an ongoing basis, giving our hardworking school board members and our communities the time they need to reduce spending. But had you not received this uh, windfall on the last uh, minute, would you be able to say what you're saying today? No. So you would have insisted on those cuts, but for the windfall? You know, we've had a number of uh, <clears throat> measures from Washington, as have the other 49 states, uh, over the last, since the financial crisis hit, that have been a real bridge for states. And uh, you know, there was a piece on 60 Minutes last Sunday night Many of you saw it that pointed out how tough, mm -hmm. the tough shape that many states are in. Uh, the reason that that's becoming apparent now is because Congress was good enough with the help of President Obama uh, to provide states with the same kind of help that General Motors and others got. Uh, we're very grateful for that. But we understand that it's over and we have to make <coughs> tough decisions. You're presenting this, so you could have made those $23 million in pressing in for it. What mechanism would you have used to do that? I look, you lost me, I'm sorry. You're, you're saying we're, we're not going to make them mandatory. No, all we're saying is that <coughs> the individual targets sent to local communities will not be imposed. Instead, we are making very clear that the education fund will be reduced on an ongoing basis by $23 million going forward after the bridge disappears, giving school boards and local communities the time to make the tough choices that have to be made. How would you have imposed those cuts, though? Simply by, you know, 23 million? Yeah. Simply by not sending it out. Mm -hmm. The 23 million 